is the leader of the Chicken family. Clay Chicken. Clay Jacobs and Mary Elizabeth Jacobs leaving the compound on route 666 or 66, either way, leaving the compound to come to Hollywood, Maryland. Ricky Owens here calling all the action for MCW Winter Blast Night 1 here in Hollywood, Maryland. As we also have the return of AEW Superstar and one-third of the Ring of Honor six-man tag team champions, Kai. Yeah, thanks, Danny. Kai, kind of just reiterating what I already made a point of. But despite that, this will be a tough task for the former MCW Tag Team Champion. As Bren has told me, a legitimate prince. And he is looking to stake his claim here in MCW Pro Wrestling as part of his kingdom. But Clay Jacobs stands in his way. Clay looking to dig that grave, bury the body. A tough task for both, both of these individuals. Crowd solidly behind Khan, but Clay Jacobs not gonna back down from the Prince. As I said, look at that, getting right in his face, pie-facing him. And the one thing that Khan is also gonna have to look out for, not just, not just the deceitful athleticism and power of Clay Jacobs, but uh, that the, what would you call it, like a siren on the outside, the twisted mind of Mary Elizabeth. Clay showing off his power, backing Khan into those ropes. Ooh. Khan is definitely not going to take that lightly. Ooh. Stiff shot right to the face of Clay Jacobs. Ah, uh, that's what we talked about. The power of both of these men is going to be on display here tonight. Khan telling Clay, your turn to try. Um, God, only, only taking a minor step back. At, at this point, it's about to be a game of can you top this? Just displaying the power of both men and who will fall first. Neither of these men looking to fall. Oh, a this time, Clay doesn't have a choice. Oh, wow. Big boot from Kine. Oh, and that senton dropping all of his weight across the midsection of Clay Jacobs. Ooh. Nice standing moonsault from Kine. Cover, Ooh, but only a one count. I said Khan making his return to MCW this weekend last night victorious over Miami Mike Walker and Hellfire McGuire along with his former MCW and Ring of Honor tag team partner Moses who will be in action later tonight for the Rage TV Championship. Moses looks to regain that championship while Khan looks to take the fight to the big man Clay Jacobs. Oh! Mary Elizabeth. Look at that. This, this, is what, this is what I talked about. Calling for Khan to strike her. She doesn't, she doesn't care. 
Khan. Oh, wow. Driving, driving Khan into that ring post and then just driving him to the floor below. Clay Jacobs taking the advantage that Mary Beth laid in front of him. But both of these men have to be aware of the referee's count. Already up to six. Up to seven. Clay. Clay wisely breaking that count. But only to do more damage to Khan on the outside. Ooh! Woo Echoing around the Hollywood Volunteer Fire Department. I gotta tell you folks, there's nothing better than the sound of a well-placed chop. Clay, taking the advantage. Oh, that is the cover. That was more of a, of a statement to Khan. And Clay Jacobs now, more, kind of just toying with his food. That crowd solidly behind Khan. And Clay has to believe that the eyes of AEW are on this matchup. He wants to be one of the men to deliver a defeat to an AEW superstar. Let him know that, that I'm here. Put my name on your radar. And Clay taking the fight to one third of the Ring of Honor Tag Team, six man Tag Team Champion, excuse me. But the thing about it is Clay, he's, he's doing it at this slow, methodical pace. Not something that you want to do against somebody like Khan. As I mentioned, a former MCW Tag Team Champion, one of the most dominant tag teams that we ever had here in MCW, the team of SOS. And then Khan making his way to Ring of Honor as far as Shane Taylor Promotions, now AEW with the Gates of Agony. But Clay Jacobs just solidly handling Khan. Oh! Lifted him up for what seemed like a suplex, but dropped him into that cutter cover. And then just putting his hand across Khan's face. Just out of sheer disrespect, but it only, only a two count. Mary Beth not exactly happy with the result on the outside. And that's the one thing that Clay still brings out Mary Beth, but he basically said back at season's beatings, after season's beatings, that we're gonna play by my rules, and one of those rules, I guess, involves biting the forehead of Khan. Probably trying to draw blood, something that I'm sure Clay Jacobs has no problem seeing, feeling, probably even tasting. Oh! A defiant Khan just slap right to the face, followed by a forearm and a chop of his own. Khan showing why he is one of the most dominant superstars here in MCW, and then just running through Clay Jacobs. Khan has created a window of opportunity for himself, and he has taken full advantage of it, showing his power, lifting Clay Jacobs for that air raid crash. Two. Oh, so, so close. Clay Jacobs, two and nine nines kicked out. Roll that shoulder out. Everyone here, from the fans to Khan, probably even Danny Mesa ringside, definitely me up here. The closest two, the closest three count of this matchup. Oh, good God! A rebound clothesline 
from Clay Jacobs. Almost taking the head off of Khan. But Khan still able to roll that shoulder out in the count of two. You can see Mary Beth is even, she's even gassed on the outside. She knows how close Clay Jacobs was to knocking off a champion in Ring of Honor and AEW. Jacobs may have been looking for that boss man slam, but right into a pedigree from Khan. Cover. One, two, three. Khan with that pedigree. Putting down the hard fought. Victim in Clay Jacobs. Showing that he is a dominant force. Whether it be tag team, whether it be singles. Khan has staked his claim here at MCW.